We're back on Inside Tennessee, and I want to read you a headline that WBIR pushed out on Friday afternoon. 21,954 new unemployment claims filed in the state of Tennessee, rising for the third week. Representative McKenzie, the economy is panic. Uh, we have made the choice as a state to uh, do a little bit of a hodgepodge of open and close. What do you think is the best path forward? And are you hearing from constituents who are suffering worse now than they were at the start of the pandemic? I absolutely am hearing uh, horror stories, a, a lot more now than, than, than early. The original stimulus did help, uh, $600, not so much. Um, you know, people want to work. Uh, but I, we have to get through this pandemic. And if it means shutting businesses down for a period of time so that we can enjoy uh, interacting for a longer period of time, you know, um, we just have to do that. And so uh, it's, it, it's, it's as worse now than it's ever been, and just in terms of the numbers, but also just in terms of people's lives. Um, uh, uh, we do a lot to help people uh, who are seeking unemployment, but the, the, the numbers are high and they're real and they're people that want work. I don't know there's a misnomer out there that some people are just want to quit their job to get this check. That's not what that's not what I'm seeing. I'm seeing people that want work, but the jobs aren't there. But with that said, we need to get through that. The best way to do that is when wear your mask, wash your hands, but we also have to manage uh, how we're opening up our businesses and closing them down. Representative Johnson, your fellow representative raised an issue that is just an ongoing conversation to close or not to close. It's become a political decision, certainly uh, philosophically, I think is fair to say, across the country. Uh, you have a lot of small businesses in the area that you represent in Knoxville. And I would imagine that some of them are saying to you, listen, if you shut me down for two, three four months, I'm not going to be able to survive. What do you say to them? Well, actually, what I hear from most people is I'll do what I need to do to get these numbers down. That is what I hear from most of the, my constituents. Um, but I do understand that. And the reality is it's not open or closed. You know, we can go determined by the business uh, for restaurants. You know, you can cut back on who is there. You can do delivery only or pick up only those. There's a lot we can do that's not shutting it down. Completely. But we haven't done any of those things or not, not standardly across the state. We haven't done a mass that the governor has failed. He hasn't done the thing that will give people consumer confidence to go out and shop. And that's why these website these face pages like uh, mask up knoxville they tell you where you can go safely where you can't go and so there's not enough consumer confidence to get folks out there so they're ordering online which doesn't help our local folks and i believe it's that if the governor had put some more um restrictions in place and not just not open or closed but restrictions and a mask mandate we'd be better better off than we are today. And I can say, like um, like Representative McKenzie said, my unemployment, I'm getting, I'm getting back to those higher levels of called about unemployment. I'm also getting back to the number of people who are just not getting a call. For a while there, they were getting a call back in one to two days. It was great. Um, we're getting back to the, it's a week, and they haven't gotten a call back from the department. So know that the department is getting a run again. We were told they were going to hire more employees, have the streamline, but I've got way too many people who aren't able to get their unemployment and aren't able to get a job.